Hi, I'm Lynn Saxberg backstage at the Ottawa Folk Festival reporting for digitallounge.ca. With me right now is Whitehorse, the fine Canadian man made up of guitar hero Luke Doucette and his lovely and talented singer-songwriter wife, Melissa McClellan. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Um, you've been in Ottawa for a couple of days and um, you're sticking around for a little bit more. What, what you been up to? Well, we're here for the Folk Festival, Ottawa Folk Festival, obviously, and uh, this is kind of the beginning of um, of, of the touring the season endless for tour. yeah, the but never-ending um, tour with this new record, uh, the fate of the world depends on this kiss. Just just come out and um, we're just starting to play live in front of real audiences, and it, you know, so this kind of feels like the beginning of a. It was probably going to be a fairly long road, um, and part of that long road is that we've decided to to have no fixed address. We're actually homeless. We we were living in in New York last year. We had an apartment. We've recently given that up. We have a house in Hamilton, but. Yeah. But there's a family living in it this year, so we're, we're literally homeless. We are homeless. So we've rented so right a... right now our yeah. home is Ottawa for the next couple of days. And then we yeah. go to Nashville for another festival. And we make that home for a few days. So that's how our life is going to lead out for the next year. The part yeah. of it that's actually... One of the parts that's different and fun is is that we're renting places by the week or a few days. Like, so we actually rented an apartment here in Ottawa. And so it feels like home. You know, it's, it's, that's, Even if it lasts a week, it doesn't. being in a hotel never feels like home. But being in an apartment where you can find the grocery store and your local pub and you know where the park is, all of a sudden, at night and yeah. sit down and have a meal together, not in a restaurant. Oh, nice that's novelty. Yeah. That's novelty for us. Um, I think the uh, record really shows you're not afraid of pushing the envelope, experimenting a bit. What was going on when you guys were making it? Well, that's good. That's nice to hear. Um, I think we uh, allow each other, we kind of push each other, I think. I think when we were solo artists, um, I mean, I, I like to think we've always pushed the envelope a little bit, but I think together we can kind of egg each other on and, um, you know, take certain songs to different places. And, uh, and you know, we're both, um, there's tons of input coming in from all different angles. So um, it was a new experience for both of us to, to work that way. And it worked really well, I think. And then the challenge is to bring it to the concert stage too. How is that going? Well, it's going really well. It's it's um it's you know it, I guess we you know we can't speak for people's expectations. I mean, if people want to hear songs exactly as they are on the record, they might be a little bit disappointed. Um, but I think that the the core of the music, which is our voices and the sound of my guitar and the sound of you know Melissa's songwriting and my songwriting and those those to me are that's the spine of White Horse and those things remain intact. It's just that some of the some of the peripheral sounds are going to be different live because there's just the two of us. But we're using looping devices and we're using a, and a whole like whack of instruments to try and recreate as much of the sort of girth uh, of the record as we can. Um, but it's really organic. I mean, we're flying by the seat of our pants. We're making loops, and some people say, "Oh, that's I like how you're using technology." And I'm all, I always feel compelled to say it is technology, but none of this is pre-recorded. Like we're not playing we're not playing digital tracks. We're not playing uh, a DAT tape, or we're not playing. A, we don't have a laptop playing loops. We're actually building it as it goes. And if we don't play it well on stage, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound good coming out of the loop. And we've train wrecked it a number of times. And that's a <laughs> to me that's a really important kind of the fun of it. <laughs> yeah, we train wreck and we just fall flat on our faces. Like okay, well uh, pick it up from here. How about that? And then uh, yeah. on we go. Yeah. <laughs> The title, The Fate of the World Depends on This Kiss. Does it? Let's have a kiss. I suppose it's how, <laughs> how, do, how do you define the fate of the world and what does that mean? I think that's a big question for us because obviously we're married and so it sounds like an illusion. It sounds like we're alluding to ourselves and our work life and our married life and all those things together, which is partly true, yeah. but there's another was, side to yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think of the that photograph that was taken during the, the Vancouver riots, um, hockey riots, um, and there's a, an image of a young couple laying on in the middle of the street making out kissing each other passionately while there are people fighting in the background and and cops and, and the city's literally burning and burning. this couple's lying on the ground yeah and it's a great it's a great image and you know it got passed around on facebook um for weeks but uh I, that kind of sums it up for me that kind of over dramatic feeling of that, that i think we all get the sense of in the world today um, but it definitely has a personal meaning too. Um, how you know everything's kind of riding on this: our our life, our our career, our 
everything everything's wrapped up into one we don't we don't have like different compartments of our life it's all it's the road it's music yeah. it's getting up on stage together it's our marriage it's it's all tied up in one yeah, no pressure at all no. Eh? yeah no pressure as you sort of like riding across the stratosphere on the tails of a comet you know i sort of picture us like that yeah. like sort of surfing on this thing that's quite possibly going to crash but no i don't mean i don't mean i know you know what i'm saying well Break a leg tonight, not literally. Have fun, good luck. Thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Hey, we're White Horse. My name's Melissa McClelland. I'm Luke Doucette, and we are backstage at the Ottawa Folk Festival, and we just wanted to uh, send a big shout out to the Ottawa Citizen for being uh, so supportive of live music. Woo!